Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Boom! Whoa, that is so cool. And you can see when he taps on the back button, it actually goes back his song. So you can see now it's until it collapse. What's up, guys? The Tech Spot here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys Spotify widgets that you can get on iOS 14. And these are really, really cool. By the way, before I start, I also did update the description of my increased Snapchat score video. So you can increase your Snapchat score 10 times faster using the steps that I show in the description, as along with the steps that I show in the video. Super easy and it's super cool. So again, I'll link that video down below in the description. Oh, and credit to AV for letting me know about this additional Snapchat score trick. So his link will be down below in in the description of my increased Snapchat score video. And also, we are holding an iPhone 12 giveaway. So if you do want a chance to win an iPhone 12, watch that video. They'll be down below in the description. And in that video, there are also steps on how to enter the giveaway. It does end on October 20th, which is like three days from now. So be sure to enter right now so you have a chance to win. But yeah, back to this video. Now, if you guys know, Spotify did release an update in the App Store. So if you're going to update this actual Spotify app, you do get a new widget, which I have over here. So again, to add this widget, all you got to do is tap and hold on a blank space on your home screen. It'll put your apps in jiggle mode or wiggle mode, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, tap on the plus icon on the top left. And over here, you can scroll down and look for Spotify. Uh, there it is. Boom. And it has a few available, so I'm going to show you guys this one too. Why not? I'm just going to put it right there. And so yeah, this is a small one, and that's a big one. Basically, it just shows you all the recent tracks that you have played in albums. So I think you're actually going to click on the albums too, which is cool. So all the recent albums that you played right there. So again, if I just go ahead and tap right here, there's also playlists. So these are my playlists, and so yeah, super cool. Now for this one, all it does is open a recently played track, and that is about it. Now if you're like me, you do want more in your Spotify widgets, you want music controls. And so there's another one I'm going to be showing you guys. So if I jump back into the app store, this one is called Music View. Now it is 99 cents, but it's only a buck. The developer does have to make money some way, because once you add the widget, of course, you do not want to see ads on the widget. That would suck. So yeah, it's only one buck, so I think it's truly worth it. It and it basically adds actual music controls on the widget which is what we want so you guys can see the reviews they speak for themselves and yeah so anyways the developer is going to constantly be updating this app as well and boom we just bought it using face id and i want to show you guys this okay this could be my first time playing around with this i have heard a lot about it i know the developer so yeah anyways what's going to open it up you guys can see this is what it looks like so you got the home the playing so this is what it will look like which is really really cool and over here you can also adjust the different themes and widgets that you see and that is just super super cool anyways if we go to settings right here you guys can see it shows a full version and all that stuff so anyways i'm just gonna add it straight to my home screen because i'm excited and i want to see what it looks like right away so i'm gonna go ahead and tap and hold on a blank spot tap on the plus icon and I'm going to look for music view. So I think I saw right there. Uh, right there. Boom. Anyways, you guys can see you can choose between all of these. Whoa. It has a lot of different sizes. So even works for Apple Music, as you guys can see. So if you want actual music controls on Apple Music as well, then this works for that as well. So super cool stuff. And yeah, Spotify, custom theme. And so let's just going to do um, bu -bu 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 music view Spotify. Okay, let's do this one. Let's see what pops up. All right, so right now it does look to be blank. Maybe we do have to go ahead and play something over here in Spotify first. So let's go ahead and play something. And all right, so we're playing music. And okay, so looks like nothing's showing up. Let's go ahead and just uh, put it back into wiggle mode. All right, and let's see. So show actions, I uh, enabled that. Close on tap. Okay, seek actions, I'm gonna enable that too. Theme. So you can choose a bunch of different themes. You got system, you got dark, light, black, and white. So I'm just going to do system and full album art. Let's go and enable that as well. I'm not going to blur it. I don't want to do that. Anyways, I'm going to exit out of here. And yeah, still nothing is showing up. So let's go and open up the music view application. I'm in the last tab. Let's tap on refresh widgets. So let's see if that fixes it. And let's see. Okay, so still like that. Okay, I think I have figured it out. So if I go to connect right here, you guys can see. It has Spotify and Apple Music, so I can go and choose one. Right now it says disconnected, so I have to go and tap on one of these to connect it. So it's going to open a Spotify, which gave it permissions, I think. And yeah, so that should be it. Agree. All right, cool. Anyways, I'm going to pause this. Let's go and see for sure if it shows up now. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Boom! Whoa, that is so cool. Okay, so look at that. Now to start with, I haven't really used Spotify in a while. I've been using Tidal, as you guys can see right there. But yeah. Anyways, 
the music I'm showing, uh, by the way, just uh, old music I had on Spotify. So that's why I mentioned that. Anyways, you guys can see the album art cover right there. Super, super cool. You got the song name and you got the artist right there, which is super cool. All right, so you guys can see how it currently has this album art cover and this song. So that's not the updated one. You guys can see if I open up Spotify, it is playing a different track and that's not the one. So to update this, what you have to do is simply just tap on the album art cover and boom, it should update just like that. So you can see, now it's showing the track that you're actually playing, which is cool. Now, it does have these music controls too. And if I head over to Music View and go to the bottom right in the settings and to the Frequently Asked Questions under Help. So where to go? Help. So you guys can see Frequently Asked Questions. If I go to the very bottom, you guys can see it says Actions Don't Work. Some actions require Spotify Premium. And it says when I press play, my music doesn't start. And this is the play or pause button only works if you have a song that is currently playing. Now for me, I have been having issues. This just came out, so a few bugs still need to be ironed out. So you guys can see, this is what happens for me. So you can see if I go to tap on the play button, it doesn't really actually play. Um, it's still playing Rico. I can confirm that by the audio. And yeah, it's not skipping songs either. And I do have Spotify Premium. I just bought it. Just to make sure, you guys can see if I head out of here, it's not showing Spotify Premium at the bottom. So that means I do have Premium installed. And yeah, so I'm using a one month free trial, but it's not working. Oh, I thought it paused for a second, but it didn't. But if I head over to Twitter, you guys can see I went over to the developer's Twitter. It's at iClonOS. And if I head over here, you guys can see he talks about the release of Music View. And if I'm going to tap on it, you can see if I scroll down, he also has a little video of how it works. So. Yeah, I can see he's playing Eminem right there, and you can see it's still working perfectly fine. And his controls also work too, which he'll be showing you guys here in a second. So I guess it's kind of hit or miss right now. For some people, it does work. For others, it doesn't. These are the settings that he has enabled. And watch this. So he kind of disabled the controls right now, but he's going to re-enable them. Boom, the controls are back. And you can see when he taps on the back button, it actually goes back his song. So you can see now it's until it collapse. And as going forward songs and it also shows all the recently playing tracks or the currently playing tracks so yeah that part is really cool so for some reason his controls are working um mine aren't working so you guys see it's paused it too and it's paused so that is so cool but for some reason it's not working for me you guys can see i'm going to skip to the next song uh it's going to tap on this to refresh you guys can see it's still on the same track but yeah this is mostly due to apple's restrictions on apps so Again, this may work for you. If it doesn't, then again, just wait for an update as updates will be rolled out for this. And I'm sure he will have it fixed in the future. Anyways, again, to refresh, all you guys do is tap on the app. And let me just show you guys this again. So I'm going to open up Spotify. I'm going to play a different track. And actually, it didn't update. Tap on the track and boom, it updates. But I just can't go forward or back tracks, which is kind of annoying because that's the main feature that I wanted. But again, for you, it may work. Now, if I head back over to the Music View app itself, you can see if I can head up to the third tab, and they do have different widgets available they can customize. So, for example, the Medium widget, I can go over here and tap on Colors to change all the different colors for the labels, and I can go back. I can also change the background color to whatever I want it to be, and I can also select an image too. So if I go in and, for example, select like this one right here, you can see I can have that as a background image, which is super cool. Now, for me, for some reason, the Save button is not lighting up, so I can't really save any themes. I don't know why. And I can even try adding a color. And there you go. And I still don't get that save button. But that's what it would look like. So yeah. Um, the save button just doesn't work for me. I don't, don't know why. But it still does look really cool. I do like this look. I just wish the music controls work. Now, if I'm going to tap and hold on, you can also edit the widget by tapping right there. And you can show actions and disable actions if you want to. And so yeah, you can go and tap and hold right here. Edit widget and just bring that back. I can't wait for the update. When this is fixed, I want to be able to use these controls. Let's go and check out the big brother of this widget. So again, tap and hold. And let's go back to music view. So should be down up here. Let's go and test out the large one. So, whoa, that's massive. Maybe the controls work on Apple Music, but I don't have Apple Music. So let me know what down in the comments if it works for you on Apple Music. Once you're going to connect that. But yeah, it's going to add the widgets. And boom, look at that. That looks so cool. Anyways, we don't get the music controls on this one. We only get it on the medium size one. But yeah, again, to connect to Apple Music, what you would have to do is go back over here. Go tap right there. And you would be over here on this page. And just tap on connect. And then there would be Apple Music. Now, you can connect two at a time. But it's recommended that you only connect one at a time for speed and optimal performance. And yeah, again, if your widget is having issues, just tap on refresh widgets. 
and that should fix it. Wait, let me see if that fixed it for me with the music controls. So, we're playing trophies now. Nope, I can't pause it. I... It's not working for me. Maybe it works for Apple Music. Anyways, guys, just wanted to update you guys on the current status of Spotify widgets, where we come so far. Again, for some people, the music controls will work. For me, it doesn't. Maybe it does work on Apple Music. Go ahead and test it out. Let me know down in the comments, because I do need to have Apple Music to be able to test this. But I don't. I have Spotify Premium, and I have Tidal. Anyways, you can see this these regular Spotify widgets that you do get. And it shows the recent album art covers. And so you can just go ahead and tap on, on into these album art covers to view all the songs in there which is really cool cool too so you can really have both widgets but yeah guys that is the current state of music widgets right now let me know what you think down in the comments be sure to smash that like button subscribe for more this is textbot and i'm out peace